Hello guys, uh, today we are going to start the important subject that is biochemistry. So we know that we have carbohydrate, fats and proteins, right? So these are the main substances which are undergoing metabolism. So we will start everything in biochemistry. We will study everything in biochemistry. Now we are starting with carbohydrate, sorry, first we will start the important that is amino acids and proteins. In all competitive exam, this amino acids and proteins they are mainly focused. The questions will be more from this topic as well as this is important. So we will start from amino acids and proteins. So we are starting biochemistry, amino acids and proteins. So what is amino acid? Right? See, in lower classes you only study the structure of amino acid. This is a simple structure of amino acid. You can see a functional group that is the carboxylic acid here, the amino group and an R group. This R group can be ethyl, methyl or anything. Okay? So for, for us, the structures are not that much important. See, in nomenclature, in lower class we have studied, the carbon just adjacent to the functional group, carboxylic acid, we can name it as what? Alpha carbon. Okay? So what we have to see here is the chirality of the carbon. Chirality means, see, if this is a carbon, all the balances of carbon must be different. Okay? All the four balances of carbon must be different. None of them must be must be same. So here, if this valences are different, that type of carbon are called chiral carbon. Chiral carbon. So whenever we have chiro chiral carbon in nice in isomerism, or we have studied and I will explain you later in the chapter isomerism. See, whenever we have chirocarbon, it will give us optical isomer. Optical isomer means it will give a mirror image. So, the compound the, which is having chiral carbon only can give us optical isomer. It means they are optically active. Okay, optically active and they can only form one mirror image. Clear? So, among amino acid, all the amino acids are optically active. Very important. All amino acids are optically active. Except for MCQ, this will be important. Except what? Except the simplest amino acid, the glycine. So, glycine is known what? Glycine is not optically active, it can't form mirror image, it doesn't have chiral carbon. So we can draw here the structure of glycine here. So if I am making the structure of glycine, see, this is a simple structure of glycine. You can see here the valences are same, so it means this carbon is not chiral now, so glycine is optically inactive. So you will have MCQ, many MCQ. All other amino acids are optically active, even D amino acid, L amino. So they will give you D, beta, alanine. So we will study in isomerism. So all others are optically active. You have to remember glycine is not optically active. Okay. So that's about chirality of car chiral carbon and the amino acid property. So there is one more amino acid group that is known as amino acid. What is this amino acid? Amino acid means if this amino group, if amino group is not free, then they will bound to form a ring. Okay? If the amino group, if the amino group is not free, they will form a ring okay they will bound to form a ring 
So, so understand if the amino group is not free. Here, normally they will be free. If they are not free, they, are, they will be bound to form a ring. Okay? The one of the most important example of amino acid is proline. Okay, remember the example for amino acid is proline. You don't need to know the structure. They will ask you in MCQ. An example of amino acid or proline is what? It is a type of amino acid. Clear? Yeah. So now we will study the classification of amino acid. We have different criteria. Criteria. First one will be the depending on the R, the R group or the functional group. So we will study the classification now. Clear? Yeah. So next we are starting classification of amino acids. Sorry, <coughs> classification of So classification, first criteria is about like the different functional group or the R group. We have seen in the basic structure, one is what? The R group and the functional group. So first criteria is according to the <coughs> functional group or R group. So among this, first one is simple amino acid. Okay? First one is simple amino acid. Simple simple. Simple. Simple amino acid. Simple. 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 So Hindi me kya hai? Song ko saral 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 saral. सोना है ना सोना क्या है इंदिरा में गोल्ड गोल्ड कौन सा सोना एक नींद वाला सोना भी है सॉन्ग सॉन्ग क्या क्या है इंदिरा में सॉन्ग गाना गाना है ना ओके सो द एग्जांपल सर ग्लाइसी एंड अलानाइन Glycine is simple or optically active? Optically active is simple amino acid. This comes under glycine and alanine. Glycine and alanine. So if you are too weak in biochem, you have a friend Sona. Sona is doing what? Ghana. Sona, Ghana. Okay, simple. So glycine is what? Glycine is simplest among this one. Simplest. 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 Among simple amino acid, glycine is the simplest. Alanine is what? Most common. Most common. Now second group is so sona gana. Second group is branched amino acid. <coughs> Okay, so you all are studying here, right? Yeah. So if I mean if you open the Facebook now, what you can see? News feeds. What? New feed. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. No, good afternoon. Someone will be live now. Gayatri is live. <laughs> Shukur is live. Right? <laughs> so our branch now includes live. 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 Isoleucine V4 Valine So branch amino acid include Leucine, iso, Isoleucine and Valine You can remember Live, right? L-I-V It is not Lysine, it is Leucine L-E-U-C-I-N-E I-S-O-L-E-U-C-I-N-E and Valine Just structure base, Leucine Leucine, Isoleucine and Valine No need to know this structure Just by heart Branch amino acid include leucine, isoleucine, and valine. Okay. Now third one is sulfur containing. Sulfur containing. 
सल्फर का नेगेटिव इंक्लूड जो आवाज़ है वैसे सिस्टीन एंड मिथियोनाइन सिस्टीन एंड मिथियोनाइन सिस्टीन सिस्टीन एंड मिथियोनाइन रेडन Now fourth one is amino acid with hydroxy group. <coughs> amino acid with hydroxy means what? OH, OH group. Amino acid with hydroxy group. It includes. सरिंग एंड त्रियोनी सरिंग एंड त्रियोनी ओके बिलो दिस जस्ट पुट अ स्टार एंड राइट टाइरोसिन टाइरोसिन आल्सो कंडेन ओएच ग्रुप आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू व्हाई वी आर राइटिंग टाइरोसिन सेपरेटली यू विल अंडरस्टैंड इट Later, so tyrosine also contains what? The OH group. So clear? Yes. Simple amino acid. Simple was what? Lysine. 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 Second one was? Second one was? Crash. Light. Lucine. 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 Third one was? Sulfur. 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 Tyrosine also contains OH group. Okay. So next group of acids are amino acids are acidic amino acid. So next side is acidic. Whenever acid comes in your mind, what what will be in your mind? COH, right? COH. So it will form CO minus ion, right? Negatively charged. Negatively charged. The ion here is CO minus. CO minus and H plus will be formed, right? The examples are aspartate and glutamate. The examples are aspartate and glutamate. Aspartate. Aspartate and glutamate. Clear? Mm -hmm. yes. Next group is amino acid containing amide group. Amino acid containing Amide group. What is amide group? Amide. Amide. Co. 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 And H2. Co. So, it is easy to remember this aspartate plus Co and H2 will form asparagine. Okay. Aspartate plus CO and H2 will form asparagine. Same way, glutamate, glutamate plus amide will form what? What will form? Asparagine and glutamate plus amide. Glutamate. 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 Clear? Next side ending is basic amino acid. Okay. 
ベーシックなメニューですよね。I told you, Asri Kamnaos is our what charge? Yes, what charge? Asri Kamnaos is our what charge? Asri Kamnaos is our what charge? Positive charge. See, you can remember here. Sachin, what is your last wish? Your last wish? Yeah. Last mission. 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 Oh my god. Okay, so you can remember basic amino acid like this. His last arch, very basic. Okay? See? His four. His study. She is lost arch. Arch. What is arch here? No, I'm not graduate. I'm not I'm uneducated. So I write arch A R G. Okay? No arch who are Arch Arch. You don't know arch. I know. Arch yeah. Spelling is you, right? But I don't know the spelling, so I wrote. A R C N. Yeah, A R C. L4 lysine. A4 arginine. Histidine, lysine, and arginine. Among this, arginine is the most basic one. Very important. Arginine is the most basic one. Clear? To remember, if you can remember, no problem. Remember, it's last arch, very basic. Okay? E for H for histidine, L for lysine. The other one, leucine was what? Leucine. What were we are studying? Leucine? Yeah, brown. 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 This is lysine. Here it is lysine. Here it is arginine. Clear? What about the V and? No, very basic. You can remember basic amino acid. It's last arch. Just for mnemonics. Clear, Kishore? Sure. We have most basic calcium, arginine too. Arginine is the most basic among this. Really important. 